For nearly a century, our Richmond nonprofit has been welcoming readers with open arms. And his latest Heroes Among Us, Greg McQuaid and Chief Photographer Brad Wilson take us to the small library that has been helping people see the world through the written word. Melody Roan's approach to life is never off key. I remember as a kid, I took art lessons. I do remember that. The woman from Richmond lives every day to the fullest. I do a lot, yes, I do. Miss Roan always looks on the bright side despite living in darkness. I've been blind since I was eight years old. Optic neuritis robbed her of sight. It's an inflammation of the optic nerves. They have no idea how that happened. Going blind had its challenges. All of a sudden it was, you know, my vision started, everything started going up and down, up and down, and I couldn't see the person in front of me. I have 54 books. On the married Florida native has adapted and thrived for 44 years. I don't know if there's anything that I miss because I can still visualize things. There's uncontracted braille and contracted braille. Along the way, the 52-year-old has leaned on others for help. The place was packed and every cowboy seemed to be looking at me. At the Braille Circulating Library for the Blind. I would say that this is one of Richmond's hidden gems. The world opens up. I ordered the special. Through her fingertips. The waitress turned toward the kitchen, shouting out my order, leaving me with my own thoughts. The library on Stewart Avenue in the fan was the vision of Louise Harrison McCraw. It has been in the community long before you and I have been here. It was founded in 1925. 96 years later, the library offers thousands of spiritual and Christian titles. Individuals can get um, materials on tape. They can get them in Braille. Melody isn't just a patron. We are always looking for volunteers to help out. She serves on the library's board of directors. I like to read biographies. I like to read fiction. Fiction seems to be what I like a lot now. This institution is working to expand and offer their selections online. I think more blind people should get to know this library. Eric Jackson, legally blind since birth. And that's a lot of books. Player on. Has been relying on the Braille Circulating Library for uh, 30 years. They send me books every month, and I, I try to listen to it, each one, and I, I love it. The blisters were worth every every cent. Navigating blindness can be daunting. Thought. Braille shows you the nuances of how language is written. But Melody Roan believes, with the right attitude... <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and a helping hand along the way. My advice is that there is life with blindness. You can turn the page and write your own ending. I would say that is a normal part of going blind. What I tell people is go through it, don't stay in it.